archery and archers come in many forms, shapes, sizes. I guess you could say that's why everyone's way of doing archery is different and personable for what works for their shape or size. Uh, there's certain things that we all have to do that are gonna be standard. For instance, you need to draw the bow back. That's kind of a given and you need to release to have the arrow go in the flight. So yes, there are certain practices that are personable to each archer and differ between each archer, but there are certain things that will be similar just for the sheer fact that we need to do the same principal movements in order to achieve the common goal of getting the arrow into flight. Long story short, the, the standing difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a pun. The standing difference I've seen. Majority of thumb draw shooters, regardless of what style of bow they shoot. Uh, Turkish, Tatar, Manchu, uh, Korean, can't think of many others, but essentially anything you would shoot with thumb draw. Uh, most stances are closed. Most archers I've seen using any of those thumb draw bows are typically in a closed stance, sideways to the target. Well, those are the first shots, first cold shots. Deer seeker Turkish bow. I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert at Turkish archery. I did some research, watched some videos from everything I've seen. It's mostly like a closed stance, perpendicular to their target. I took the bow grip from Armin. Thank you, Armin, for showing that the way to hold the bow. Uh, the Turkish style, if that is, I'm pretty sure, you know, it was. Um, besides the, the two misses, um, I mean, it's not, not a bad group. 
first cold shots of the day. Uh, I pretty much shoot the Korean bow, same way my Turkish Tatar bows, all my horse bows, I, I line up with a close stance. The only difference, I just started using a different grip on my Turkish and Tatar bows based off of what Armin was showing. And for the Korean bows, I, I, I do it the Korean style. But I still set up with a closed stance, like you'll see. traditional Korean way the stance is very open like you're facing the target uh, I tried it a few times I didn't shoot bad it just felt weird and I'm just curious why it's so different than all the other horse bow Asiatic styles that I see out there um, kind of makes sense because the way you set up It's more like you're on a horse. So that kind of makes sense to me. Because, I mean, yes, this is like riding a horse too. I guess it would make sense you're shooting sideways from a horse. But sometimes you're going to shoot forwards from a horse. And I think that's kind of what the Korean traditional method is trying to kind of mimic or prepare your body for. So I'm going to try to take a few shots that way. I'm going to try to imitate the style as best as I can. I'm no pro at this either. Who's that? My contra was bad, my release was bad. Let me try it again.
definitely something to facing the target. Very open stance. Um, it took me days to finally get used to it. Consistency's getting there. I had a nice group right in his chest. <laughs> 